for some reason, have never interviewed anybody about a robot vacuum. So I made a point of going to the Nito booth, and I'm talking to Chriselle Loran about the Nito uh, robot vacuum, right? Yes, we're absolutely glad to be your first one. Yay, yay. So she's holding it up here. It looks like, it actually looks more like a bathroom scale, but it doesn't tell me how fat I am. So I like it so far. <laughs> Yeah, it actually is one of the greatest um, features of our form factor. So we are the first robot vacuum company to have this D shape. So having these edges and corners to our robot allows you to get as far to the wall as possible. Oh, actually in corners, yeah. duh. Exactly. So you have a wider brush, a bigger dustbin as a result. It's actually about 30% larger than most of the dustbins you get in a round robot vacuum. Nice. So it's got big, big wheels like these are clearly for traction going over carpet even? Exactly. So it can go right from your vinyl or hardwood floor right onto carpet or a rug. This is, this is almost like a uh, like a tank tractor thing going. And it's got some little nice whiskers on the side here to get all that weird crud out of the corners, I guess? Exactly. So that's actually a backup for us. For most of the round robots, you actually see this in the front of the brush because it needs to get there so they can get the things that are happening in the sides. For us, because we're already getting there, we have this as that backup so that if we did happen to miss something, it still gets it. I gotcha, I gotcha. So what's, what makes this uh, a consumer electronic show device? Is this a smart device or how does it work? What does it, it work is, with? It is. We just announced all of our smart home integrations. So we are able to work with Google, Alexa, and Siri with HomePod through Siri shortcuts. So our oh. smart home integrations are new for us. So talk to me about how, what you would do with a Siri shortcut. Would you say, uh, hey, uh, Nito, uh, go vacuum the kitchen? Yeah, actually, that's exactly it. So one I of the great it. things is that with our Nito D7 robot, it can actually create a floor plan of your home, and then you can mark which rooms are what. So you can say the living room, kitchen, dining room. And with our integrations, you can say something like, hey, Google, clean the kitchen. And then nice. it just goes right out there. I like the name D7 because you're going to remember that this is a D shape, right? Exactly. Oh, man, somebody really smart named this. <laughs> I like it. You should just join our marketing team, I think. There you go. I'm all over it. <laughs> so uh, when will this be on the market? So this is actually already on the market. Um, we do have a couple of announcements coming out later on this year that we're happy to share with you. But the D4, D6, and D7 are all available right now on Best Buy, Amazon, on our website. Oh, OK. So what's the difference between D4, D6, and D7? So our D4 is our base model. It essentially allows you to you know, clean your home with our app, allows you to you know, basically tell it to start and stop. With a D6, it actually is much more powerful suction, so it gets the pet hair better. Um, you are actually able to create a floor plan with your home and then also uh, create basically these no-go lines where it says, you know, hey, my pet bulls are here, so don't go in this area. With our D7, it can do multiple floor plans. So if you have two stories to your home, for example, you can have both on one robot. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like that pet hair thing. My solution was I got pets that are the color of my carpet. <laughs> That's a really good solution. I'm you, it's brilliant. You know, I didn't even know my dog shed till she went to somebody else's house. <laughs> you have to do the same with your furniture too. Black dog, black furniture. That's yeah. what I have. Yeah, no, I messed up on that. I got a white cat with a dark furniture. It's not, <laughs> it's not working. I'm going to shave the cat, I think. I, I don't know. All right, this is very cool. So uh, the D7, for example, what, what's your price point on that on Amazon? So seven ninety nine, dollars um, and basically um, Amazon, Best Buy are all price matching right now. So if we have a deal on one, you'll find it on the other as well. Very good. Thank you very much, Chriselle. This is fantastic.